Hey Team Yellow, good afternoon. Austin with Tennis Point, excited to showcase the Adidas Barricade 12s here for you today. Um, super excited to be talking about this with you guys. I actually grew up playing on these shoes when I was a ball boy at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati. Took a bit of a hiatus when they, uh, they, they made the last model. I think the 11s came out in 2019. Um, so super excited to really just break these down for you guys and uh, walk you through what makes up the new barricade. So kind of starting um, really just with the looks first off. Um, these actually, I think, were the Acapulco model uh, from, from the spring. And um, right as we walked out on the court with these guys, the sun hitting this yellow bottom sole here absolutely just pops. Um, and really cool design with the, with the outer. Um, out with the herringbone profile really just creates the perfect balance of traction and durability, especially meant for, for hardcore surfaces. Um, really the intuitive lacing system, uh, really never seen a shoe like this. I think actually the, the new Vapor Pros um, have a similar lacing system, but the laces are actually connected to the internal webbing uh, on the midfoot. So um, when you tighten them, the tongue perfectly molds to the shape of your foot. Also comes lined with a nice memory foam cushion. So the laces aren't really jabbing into the, the top of your foot or anything like that. Um, Something that's pretty apparent and you can't really ignore either is this uh, big Adidas lettering on the side, which actually does serve, serve a pretty important purpose for anybody that really uh, has a lot of toe drag or anything like that when you're playing. I actually noticed after playing a match uh, against one of our, our marketing guys here, Nate, um, I noticed a substantial uh, amount of like toe drag right on the S, like right, right here, or I guess it was the other shoe, but um, like right on the corner, right on the ball of your foot. Um, so anytime that you're you know, sliding or going for uh, an out wide ball that you're reaching for and you kind of drag your foot a little bit, um, it's not really going to damage that outer, the, the um, outer layer of the shoe because it does have that supportive cushioning there. So um, really intuitive by, by placing that there. So um, the lightweight balance, ba balance on the back of the shoe also provides um, cushioning and, and comfort and flexibility. Again, when you're doing any of those lunging shots or, or just putting a lot of weight on, on the heel, um, has a huge amount of cushioning here on, on the back uh, portion of the shoe as well. Um, and on the bottom, you can see the, the torsion systems actually in the exterior of the shoe. Some shoes like uh, New Balance, we actually also product tested those. All of that's actually um, kind of in between the um, outsole of the shoe and, and like the inside heel. So it's actually exposed here on the exterior, um, really enhances your lateral movement moving from left to right. So if you're having an intense baseline rally, moving from corner to corner, um, this new torsion system, uh, having them completely separated like this, um, really just enhances your balance and um, allows you to get to some of those tougher to reach balls. Um, Probably one of the coolest features of this shoe that I did notice just kind of from looking at it, um, the aesthetics, you can see this, uh, this heel counter is tilted inward for uh, enhanced and increased stability to really lock your foot into the sole of the shoe. Uh, I'm a big skier, skied my whole life, and that really just resembled when you kind of snap your foot into a ski boot, really just locks it in there. And again, when you're making those lateral movements going left to right, you don't gotta worry about your foot, your foot or your heel um, or your ankle like sliding around because of that uh, inward um, tilted heel counter. So I um, thought that was a really cool feature that they added when they, when they um, re released this new shoe. Um, kind of also going into the heel counter, this uh, on the inside of the shoe, there's these um, added cushionings around the ankle. They're actually called GeoFit Sense Pods. Um, and those almost kind of act like an, air, uh, like an airbag. So when you're, again, doing those lateral movements, any times that you're you know, stressing a lot of um, weight or pressure on the outside of your shoe, moving from side to side, um, they can kind of contract and um, again, really just mold your foot, doesn't have a lot of discomfort. Um, one bad thing or like, you know, constructive criticism I will say about these is the molded upper right here on, the, on this shoe right here does take a little bit longer to break in than a more traditional shoe. Um, so I'd probably have to play with these guys for a good, you know, three to four hours um, for them to really kind of feel like they're getting broken in. Um, just because anytime, you know, I have a platform serve, so on my serve every single time, you can really kind of hear it crackle and pop and, um, you know, probably have to play with these a few more times and, and uh, beat up on Nate a little bit more to, uh, to finally break these guys all the way in. So um, let us know what you guys think, guys. I, again, super excited to, to have these new barricades in. Um, we've got a slew of different uh, colorways out for them. So uh, hard court, clay court, you name it, we got it, tennispoint.com. Feel free to drop a comment and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks, guys. Advantage you.